you should be selling a high ticket sales funnel for 10 grand. That's what you should be selling your high ticket sales funnels for. If you have a client who is selling programs or services or products for 5K plus, the reason we call it high ticket is because anything over 5K, you typically need to have a phone conversation with someone to build trust, right? You can sell a program or a product or a service for 2 or 3K just from the website and maybe with a training webinar. If, if it's over 5K, you need to have a conversation with them, which is why the high ticket sales funnel is so good because you have those touch points that we talked about that are programmed and automated to build trust with someone in a short space of time. So if you're selling a high ticket sales funnel to a client like that, you should be charging them 10K. They bring on two or three clients through that funnel and it's paid for itself. And the funnel is going to cost you pennies to set it up because we've done the heavy lifting for you. Once you import it, into your system and you get familiar with it, which will take you a couple of hours in an afternoon, then you've got an asset there that you can go and sell to your clients for years to come. Jenny Lakenen did this course three years ago and she's still selling high ticket sales funnels for five figures and using the same templates that we gave her three years ago. This is the Agency Hour podcast live here in the Digital Mavericks Facebook group. And I'm very excited because today, we are going to give you details on how you can get your hands on three, not one, not two, but three pre-built client acquisition funnels that you can literally click and import into your business uh, at no cost. We're going to give you these for free. There is a catch and you'll have to stay with me and find out what that catch is a little bit later on. Uh, so stick with us uh, and we're going to tell you how you can get your hands on three of our uh, best performing, highest converting client acquisition funnels for your business. And also you can then use these templates and these funnels that we're giving you and you can sell them to your clients for an unlimited amount of revenue, right? Like many of our students have done over the years, they make good money selling these high ticket sales funnels to clients as a service. And it takes them, uh, it costs them pennies once they uh, have our templates in terms of like the time it takes to set it up and launch a high ticket sales funnel for their clients is ridiculously uh, efficient and cost effective because we've done the heavy lifting for you. So stick around and we'll give you more details later on on how you can get your hands on those. Uh, and uh, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome my guest my co-host, my brother from another, all the way from the US of A, it is Pete. Oh, yeah, baby. I still How are you, that. brother? I'm doing well, man. I'm doing well. You missed me? I did. I did miss you. a couple of weeks. Yeah, it has been a couple of weeks. You've been... You're doing a disappearing act on me. I don't want to... I don't, know, no, I don't I want to out you here, but you did tell me in the green room or on the call just before you... You're shrinking. It's the in, incredibly shrinking bit. Pete Perry. Incredibly it's fantastic effort, bit. dude. It's a great effort. What yeah. have you done? Uh, so for those listening, I've lost about 26, 27 pounds since uh, Thanksgiving. So since, That's outstanding. And I've, It's the same 26 or 27 pounds I've lost before, but I always <laughs> seem to find them. <laughs> but, um, but it feels a little different this time, actually, because I'm – I'm losing it slowly and I'm, I feel like I'm in better shape than I've ever been or not. Maybe not ever. I'm 56 years old, but I'm, I'm in pretty good shape and I've uh, got a lot more to lose. I do have yeah. more to lose, but um, I'm just eating right and working my ass off. And every morning I work out different wow. exercises. My problem always was like, I'll start doing some exercises and a, I'll either freaking hurt myself because mm -hmm. I've always had a bad back. So mm -hmm. I'll hurt myself or I'll just get bored. Like, don't put me on a treadmill. I'd rather, I'd rather just, no, that's not going to work for me. So mm. I found a guru basically who um, has a whole bunch of different exercise routines and they're working for me. And in fact, my wife's doing it too. Wow. Um, oh, she's, she's not down 27 pounds, but she didn't need to be. <laughs> so. So for those of us that live in the 21st century, 27 pounds is about 12 and a half kilos, right? Yeah. Uh, sorry, sorry to, make fun of, okay. sorry to make fun of all my imperial friends. That's okay. uh, about 12 and a half kilos. That's, that's not insignificant at all, dude. No, that's it's, it's quite, pretty good, yeah. 
Wow. So I, got, what, I got a few more kilos to go, but yeah. What have you changed? Um, by the way, welcome to the Agency Hour, which is the new nutrition and diet podcast here for agency owners. Uh, what have you done food-wise? What have you changed food-wise? And so, also um, alcohol, coffee, have you changed anything yep, there? Yep. So, no, I, I mean, I, I can, I'm cutting – I cut way back on sugar but um, because I'm a, I'm a sugar-holic, but mm-hmm. I no longer. And um, so eating-wise, uh, I now do this – where I divide the plate into four pieces and two mm-hmm. of those pieces are filled with something green, mm-hmm. not something moldy, but something that's supposed to be green. <laughs> and then <laughs> one is filled with a protein of some sort, a lean, mm-hmm. a nice lean protein. And one quarter is filled with some sort of starch. So I can pretty much have anything I ever wanted to have just smaller versions of the starch. Right. Um, right. When you say starch, you Increm- or, um, intermittent fast every day and then I 24 hour fast one day a week mm. so 16 hours most days and then 24 mm-hmm. hours on right now it's Thursdays but that might change so are your 16 hours between like 8 at night and midday the next day is that so whenever I, yeah whenever I stop drinking or stop eating dinner so yep. usually around 7 mm-hmm. and then I go until 11 I go as day. long as I can. Yeah. Actually, I usually go till about 11 and then have a, I actually have a protein shake and then mm-hmm. I have, and then the other thing, you know how um, Steve Jobs and Mark Zuckerberg and all these people um, will tell you that the less choices you have in your life, the more successful you're going to be. Mm-hmm. So I've eliminated choices for breakfast and lunch. Mm-hmm. Breakfast is always a protein shake mm-hmm. with a little MCT oil or something in it. And then mm-hmm. lunch is always a turkey sandwich with mustard and lettuce, onion on um, Ezekiel bread, which is like a sprouted mm-hmm. grain bread. And mm-hmm. the turkey, I roast a turkey every Sunday and wow. s- slice that up every day to uh, wow. like, have my sandwich. So no decisions. Like I don't have to, I'm not going to run out and grab a yeah. hamburger. Or, That's or, right. You know, <clears throat> salami sandwich. That's right. It's a turkey sandwich, you know. Yep. And if you think about it the night before, you plan it the night before, the next day, it's like, because the, 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 the trap is if you get hungry, you, you just start, you go for starchy carbs, yeah. right? Because they fill you up and they're full yeah. of love and they turn into sugar and it gives your brain a lovely dopamine hit. So, but as, whereas if you've got it planned out, it's like, well, I'm having a protein shake at 11 a.m., then that's it. That's what I'm having. There's, you don't need yep. to think about it. Yeah. Yep. Love it. So, well done, brother. Uh, that's right, awesome. How are you, how you feeling? Like a million bucks. That's Strong. Great energized um, right yeah I what pro- what prompted what prompted the change well you and i had talked about how i was doing some research on longevity remember a while back mm-hmm. we were talking about longevity mm-hmm. and um i i follow a guy named dan sullivan who's a great coach a great business yep. coach but he's also mm-hmm. uh, a big longevity nut mm-hmm. and he's 78 and he looks like he's 48 mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. Um, great shape, great guy, b- brilliant. I know you know Dan, who Dan is. Yep. Um, and he said that he decided one day to just pick a number and that was going to be his number that he lives to. So he picked mm-hmm. 157, which mm-hmm. is pretty damn high. But he said, <laughs> he said, if if I start living today, like I'm going to be 157, that means I'm going to have to make changes in my life about to get there. Right. And mm-hmm. if I make it to 152, nobody's going to be pissed. Right. Mm-hmm. I, yeah. So, you know, that's a lesson in goal setting of any kind. Right. Totally. Like set, set a goal for, uh, okay, this year I'm going to make $300,000. Mm-hmm. I've got to do things in order to do that, to get there. So, yeah. um, so when I, when I picked my number, my number is 110. Wow. I said, I started looking around and I didn't see any fat guys over a hundred. So <laughs> I said, well, there's the first thing I have to change. Yeah. So. Wow. That's super interesting. Um, I was talking to a guy once who was a baker and he used to start work at like three o'clock in the morning baking bread. And he was just eating bread. Like mm. it was going out of fashion. Right. And he put on so much weight and he, then he just kind of got really depressed about himself. Anyway, he went through a, 
I really went through a whole bunch of shit. Like, you know, marriage broke up and ended up just really kind of hitting rock bottom. And he had tried to lose the weight and he kept, he kept approaching it a certain way. Like most people approach it, like denying themselves something or thinking about what they're putting in their mouth as, as the thing to focus on. And then he got some coaching around it and he switched his mindset to say, instead of saying, I'm trying to lose weight, he would then start saying, I'm a fit, healthy person. And fit, healthy people don't eat pizza after dinner as a snack, right? Unless they're trying to carb up and put on muscle. Fit, healthy people uh, have do certain things. They exercise, they eat well, they eat lots of vegetables, they eat small amounts of protein, they, you know, they exercise regularly, they sleep well, they drink lots of water. So whenever, because his thing was chocolate and, and bread, right? And he said every time he would think about chocolate or bread at night, he would say, he would instant, like it took, he, he said it took him about two weeks to change his habit to go, well, fit, healthy people don't do that. So why am I doing that? Because I'm a fit, healthy person. And he lost an obscene amount of weight in a short space of time. And it's that same mindset that you're talking about is looking at a dude who's 102 going, well, he's not fat. So uh, if I want to live to 102, 102 year old men aren't fat. So I need to not be fat. Otherwise I'm not going to live to 102. And it's kind of projecting yourself into the future desired state that you want to be in and then making choices now to feed into that rather than what most people do, which is try and make different decisions now that will then result in a future desired state. And it's just a, it's just a little trick in your mind where you, if you actually put yourself in the future desired state first, you find yourself making different choices today and tomorrow. That's absolutely true. Mm. Love it. Hey, for those of you who want to follow Dan Sullivan, you should check out a podcast called Exponential Wisdom right. it's, that he... It's, other than this it, one, it's the only podcast I listen to. It's fantastic. It's it's Peter Diamandis uh, of, of XPRIZE fame. So I'll let you do your own research. But anyway, Peter Diamandis and Dan Sullivan have a fantastic podcast called Exponential Wisdom, Increasing Abundance and Exponential Technologies. Um, Peter Diamandis' number, by the way, I think is about 700. He wants to live to 700 years old, which sounds ridiculous, right? But he says, check this out. Turtles live to 700. So why can't humans, right? right? Like biologically, he's absolutely convinced it's possible. We just haven't figured out the technology yet. And the point is not to look 700 when you're right. 700. Right. So he's, his first thing is working on getting to 100 and looking 60. That's his first kind of milestone. Crazy. I mean, they just think so big, these guys. It's, in, it's insane. Um. Right. Well, thank you for sharing. And uh, I hope you don't mind me uh, outing your journey here on the yep, live stream. It's that's inspiring fine. for everyone. Love it. It's a, um, it's a lesson in goal setting. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Speaking of which, it's a nice segue into what we're going to talk about today, which is there's a lot of chatter online. There's a lot of ads. There's a lot of messages. There's a lot of BS, frankly, around the topic of funnels. And what I want to do on this call is walk you through the only funnel that you need in your business for two reasons. One, it's going to help you bring in better quality, high qualified, high paying clients who are prepared to pay you what you're worth for the services that you're offering. The second reason is it's going to give you a great understanding of the funnel that you should also be pitching your clients, right? Uh, and you can make very good revenue. Uh, you can make great money selling these, this particular funnel to your clients. And the third thing we're going to do is, as I mentioned at the start of the show, is is let you know how you can get your hands on three pre-built funnels that we have built for you that you can import into your business. And the what I want to do is I want you to, if you're listening to this as a podcast, you should really get on over to the Digital Mavericks Facebook group so that you can join in the conversation. Because what I want to ask you guys now is I want you to – uh, think about your reven your current revenue in your business. What is your current average monthly revenue? You don't have to share it if you're not comfortable sharing it in the, in the comments. But what I want you to think about is how much would you like to increase your current average monthly revenue by for it to make a significant difference in your business and in your life? So for example, if you're currently at, I'm going to make some numbers up here, right? If you're currently at $15,000 a month in revenue, 
What do you need that to be for it to make a significant difference in your business and your life? Maybe it's an extra six grand a month so that you can hire a developer so that you can get off the tools. Maybe it's an extra 10 grand a month so that you can hire a developer and a project manager. Kieran Kelly wants to double his revenue. That's awesome. Yes, they are children in the background. You can hear Goldie tearing the place apart. So enjoy the sound effects as my wife tries to keep everyone calm because I'm on a live stream. Uh, the And the other question I want to ask you is how much of your current revenue is recurring? What percentage of your current monthly revenue is recurring revenue? When I say recurring, I don't mean clients that just come back and buy something else. That's called repeat business. I mean monthly contracted recurring revenue where they're paying you, you know, whether it's care plans for a hundred dollars a month or whether it's a growth plan for three and a half thousand dollars a month. There's, they're, on is, a they're on a subscription. They're on a subscription. They're on a subscription, yeah. right? What percentage of your current revenue is on a subscription and where would you like to get that to again, so that it makes a significant difference to your business and your life, right? Facebook user has said that 300% of his current revenue is recurring. I think, no, I think he was answering that question <laughs> before. Kieran's 30% recurring revenue. Excellent. So the, the, I, I th this is, and I, I, I want to tell you a quick story about Spotify <clears throat> and how that ties into what you're about to learn uh, in this call and what we're about to give you in the, the funnels that we're about to give you. The guy that the founder of Spotify, and I can't remember his name, someone will look it up. Um, the founder of Spotify knew when the he he came from a artist background, right? He came from a, a music background. And he knew the problem with iTunes and and with what Apple were doing is that the artists weren't making any money at all. They were just getting completely robbed. And so he knew there was a better way. And he had this idea for Spotify. But he knew that the uh, Spotify is essentially a marketplace where you've got supply and demand. So the only way Spotify works is if you have listeners and you have the artists who are prepared to stream, right? Without, without one of those pieces, it, it, it fails. So he knew that he had a very narrow window in which to build trust. He knew that he had to build trust fast. He had to build trust with the fans and he had to build trust with the music industry because he had to get the, the library, he had to get the content from the music industry, right? So here's what he did. He went to the fans and he said, trust me, I'm going to get your favorite tracks and it will be free. Uh, we're going to play ads. If you don't want the ads, you can subscribe to Spotify premium and we'll take the ads away. But trust me, I'm going to get your favorite tracks. I just want you to take a punt, Right. And it's going to be better than Apple Music because you, the artists are going to get paid more. We're going to have a bigger library. It's going to be a better experience than iTunes. And remember, at the time, iTunes was pay per was like two dollars ninety nine to play a song, and you owned it. It wasn't a streaming service. It was a, a store where you bought music. The only other services doing it were Audio, Pandora. They were a bit clunky. They were a bit shit, to be honest. Spotify came along, and what he did is he went to the record labels and he said, "Give me your library." of music and I guarantee you will earn this much in the first 12 months, right? Was the only way he could get the, the, the content was to guarantee they would make a certain amount of money in the first 12 months. Now he had, uh, he had big kahunas to make this call. He knew that he had the user base that would pay once he had the, the content, they would pay to get rid of the ads, which would give him the revenue to then pay the record labeled right but he made that guarantee up front it's a big move and the uh, he knew that that was the only way that he could get the record labels on side and if he didn't get the record labels on side quick enough and the fans were waiting like hey dude it's been three months and you promised me i could listen to metallica and you still haven't got metallica's albums and this is rubbish this service is crap right, then they would leave and the whole thing would fail. So he had a very, very narrow window in which to build trust. He had to build trust fast. And when I heard that episode of the uh, Masters of Scale podcast hosted by Reid Hoffman, of course, of LinkedIn and PayPal fame, this light bulb went off in my head and I, and I was like, the, the challenge that we have as 
marketing service providers is we're asking people to invest. I mean, you can sell websites for $3,000 for the rest of your life if you like and spin your wheels and it's a race to the bottom. And, uh, you know, I did that when I first started out and I very quickly realized that I just couldn't survive. So I knew I needed to go upstream and I needed to charge more for what I was doing so I could build a team, build a profitable business and eventually get off the tools. And the only way I know to how to build trust fast is to have multiple touch points in a very short space of time. Now, I used to do this back in 2007, 2008. I used to do this in person, right? You would make a phone call. You would go to the client's business and have a meeting with them. They would come to your office. They would sit them down in the boardroom and we'd have a meeting with them. You'd have some emails. I started writing the anti-follow-up sequence, which again was part of that having multiple touch points with a client in a really short space of time. Well, what I realized is that you can automate a lot of this and you can systemize a lot of this so that by the time a client discovers you, whether they're a referral, whether they respond to an ad, whether they find you from SEO, whether they click a link in the footer of a website, I'll tell you a story about that in a moment. However they find you, they have this, what I call the honeymoon experience where they literally fall in love with you. And I reckon you've got our current sales cycle is about 24 days, right? I reckon you've got 10 to 25, maybe 30 days from the moment that person discovers you. If after 30 days we haven't closed a deal, it's going to start to rot in my experience. It might be different for your marketplace and your industry or wherever, wherever you are operating in the world, but that's my experience. So we try and close deals within 10 to 24 days, right? That's the sweet spot. And they're, they're in love with you during that time. That's the honeymoon period. And emotionally, they've bought into the process. And so what I did is I engineered what I call a high ticket sales funnel. Now, I know there's a lot of people talking about high ticket, high ticket sales and sales funnels and stuff. But what I want to do is I want to walk you through why, and I'm going to show you our current high ticket sales funnel, which is doing exceptionally well. We are booking calls from cold traffic from Facebook ads, right? And again, doesn't matter where the traffic comes from. I'll tell you about the link in the footer of a website in a moment. Doesn't matter where the traffic comes from. You, we, we have essentially a high ticket sales funnel is a red carpet, white glove concierge experience where you roll out the red carpet and treat people like a VIP. So by the time they get on a call with you or one of your team, they have already bought, they've already bought in. They're, they're already like, oh my God, you guys are amazing. You know, we love you to bits. I'll tell you a quick story about Carl, who's in Mavericks Club in New Zealand. He had a call recently with a business coach, which is his market. She indicated in the application process of the funnel, which I'll walk you through in a minute, that she had a budget of maybe 10 to 15 to rebuild her website. By the time he got on a call with this, this client, she was like, oh my God, uh, you're like a celebrity in, uh, in, 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 uh, you know, these groups that I'm in. And she felt like she'd seen his content. She'd seen his video. She felt like she already knew him, right? She indicated in the application process that her budget was 10 to 15. He closed a $28,000 project with this client. And that was because of the positioning and the strength of the marketing and everything that happened before he spoke with her on the phone which is what I want to walk you through. Let me know if you've got any questions in the comments. And before I dive in and show you our funnel, uh, this is a live funnel that's actually that we're running ads to at the moment. Um, I would really appreciate it if you didn't go and visit the funnel because you're going to screw up my stats. So please don't try and grab the URL and go and have a look at it. Take screenshots if you want when I show it to you and you can reverse engineer it later. But please don't go and visit the funnel because you're going to screw up my analytics. Um, I built a website once for an audio visual hire company and I put in the footer uh, website created by Troy Dean. And that was a link to my website, of course. And I got an email through my website. This was before I had a funnel built out. I was just kind of doing it manually, right? Uh, before I had all the automation built out. And I got a, an email from this uh, nonprofit who were the peak body for the drug and alcohol sector here in Melbourne. And they said, Hey, we run events and we use this audio visual hire company. And we went to their website and we saw that you built their website and we love it. Can we have a conversation with you? And I said, of course you can. So then I started 
what is now essentially a high ticket sales funnel, but I just did it manually. I just emailed them links to pages and I emailed them a link to the application form and I emailed them a link to the calendar and all that kind of stuff. And they ended up, it was one of the most profitable, one of the best projects I ever worked on. And when I, I remember walking in to meet them in their office and when I walked in, Sam, the CEO, he, he walked out of his office down the hallway and then he literally stopped and took a step back and he's like, oh, oh, sorry, man. It's, it's just like I'm beating a celebrity. Like I know you so well. I've been watching all your videos and reading your blog articles. And he said, I'm just, I'm so thrilled to finally meet you. And I was just standing there going, this is like a done deal. Like I just, I'm just not going to say anything, right? I'm just going to put my hand out and take the guy's checkbook because it's already, he's already sold and I haven't even opened my mouth. And that was because I had this positioning and this pre-sales these pre-sales assets in place. Now I've automated the thing and it's much slicker. And um, so without further ado, I will share my screen and I will walk you through the anatomy of a high ticket sales funnel. And remember, we are going to, we're going to let you know how you can get access to three pre-built funnels that we have built for you uh, using WordPress and Elementor. Uh, of course, you can take these and and transpose them into Beaver Builder or whatever page builder you use, but we've built them in WordPress and Elementor. It's a zip file. You import it, and then you just change the colors, change your logo, uh, drop a bit of content in, which I'll talk to you about in a moment, and you, you'll have three different um, client acquisition funnels. The reason we've built three is because they're just slightly different styles for different markets. So uh, 80% of the heavy lifting is done, and as I said some of our students, including Jenny Lakenen, she sells these high ticket sales funnels. Uh, she sold recently a website and a high ticket sales funnel for 17 grand for a client. And I know she's told me in, in private chats that actually rolling out the funnel is, you know, takes her, you know, hours, not, not days or weeks because she uses the templates that we give her. And then she just adds the content for the client and in a very short space of time, it's done. So I, I, I hope none of Jenny's clients are listening <laughs> yes that's right um and the so when you're looking at what you're about to see remember like we are going to give you these page templates done and all plugged in and ready to go okay so and i'll give you details on how you can get your hands on them in a moment but right now i'm going to walk you through the anatomy of a high ticket sales funnel it all so starts up, let me just remind everybody that's listening to this as a podcast to Come, come join digi uh, the Digital, Ma Digital Mavericks Facebook group in Facebook and you can see it live streamed and get to see uh, what Troy is showing you. Yeah, well done. And I'll, I'll talk you through it. Essentially, the first page is the landing page. It's also known as an opt-in page. It's where we uh, have a headline, uh, a video or an image, um, in this case, we just have an image that kind of looks like a video. It's got a play button on it. We have a headline and then we have a big button that says, let me watch the video. And the head, our headline says attention agency owners. So that's called dog whistle copy, because what we're doing is we're calling out the target audience in the copy, right? So you might say attention accountants or attention gym owners or attention home contractors. So dog whistle copy where we call out the target audience in the copy. And then we have a great big headline that is basically, um, you know, Frank Kern calls it the how to yay without boo headline, right? So how we helped 3,500 plus agency owners get more high paying clients while working less. So that's how to yay, get more clients without boo. No one wants to work more to get more clients. So this is how we help agency owners get more clients while working less. And then there's a great big picture with a video button on it and a button that says, let me watch the video. We have some logos here of uh, places where we've been featured. That's a bit of social proof. We have a couple of testimonials and then we just have some bullet points of what they will learn in this mini training. And again, another button to let me watch the video. If I click on the image or the button, a pop-up appears where I'm asking people for their first name, their last name, their email address, and their phone number. And again, in the pop-up, the headline says, gain access to this training to learn how to get high paying clients and scale while working less. First name, last name, email, phone number. They're all required fields. I will not let you in without your phone number. And then a button, let me watch the video, okay? Uh, somebody puts their details in, then they end up on this page where the 
it's it, the layout is almost identical. It's just a great big headline at the top with a video, and then underneath is an invitation to book a call and talk to a human. And the headline says, watch this video to learn how you can use our minimum viable effort method to scale your agency and get more clients while working less. Then there's a video that's about 13 minutes long, which is me just teaching the minimum viable effort method, which is a presentation I did a few months ago. Uh, and then the reasons that you should book a call with us. And essentially, the reasons you should book a call with us are because you can try and implement what you're going to learn in the video yourself. It's just going to take longer and you're going to have questions and you're going to get stuck. So you should just talk to us and we'll show you how you can do it quicker, faster, and get your questions answered, right? Again, we have the logos of where we've been featured as social proof. And then we have a ton of testimonials on this page. Well, we have three actually. A video, uh, we have six, three video and three written testimonials from people who've been through our programs and had some success, right? So uh, people are watching this video. By the by, this time, we have their phone number and their email address. So guess what? We are trying to get in touch with them via email and phone call while they're watching the video. Dioza is calling them, trying to get them on the phone uh, to make sure that everything's working. Hey, Pete, I saw you've uh, uh, signed up for the Minimum Viable Effort video. Did you get it okay? Is it working? Everything's okay? Do you have any questions? And then what we do is we qualify them to see if they're right to talk with someone. Um, about 40% of our calls coming through this funnel are people booking themselves in and about 60% of the calls are from Dioza calling, doing outbound, calling the people and booking them in. I'm going to repeat that because I think it's really important. 40% of our calls that are coming through this funnel are people booking themselves in, which I'll show you in a moment how they do that. The other 60% of calls that we're getting through this funnel are from Dioza outbound calling the people who opt in for the video, getting them on the phone, qualifying them, and then booking them in with, uh, with Damien. Once people click on the button that says, let me talk to a human, they go to the third page in the high ticket sales funnel, which is an application form where we basically qualify them, right? I won't walk you through all the details here. Uh, there's, I don't know, there's like six or seven or eight questions where we basically ask them like, we kind of follow the BANT framework, right? Like what's your budget? Are you the decision maker? What do you need help with and what's your timeline? And we kind of do it in a slightly different order. I think we do like, what do you need first? Um, are you the authority? What's your timeline? What's your expected budget? And if they, if they come back and say, well, look, we have these ridiculously high expectations and we have no money and we need it to happen yesterday, we might just get them on a quick call and say, look, we're probably not the right fit for you. Um, if you have realistic expectations and you have a realistic budget, then we're happy to chat. And so this is a way of us kind of filtering out the tire kickers or the, or the time wasters. Uh, once they fill in the application form, they then end up on a calendar where they can just book in a time. And so you can see here I'm on the calendar. It's, it's Thursday, the 24th of March, where I live, and there's 2 p.m., 2.15 or 2.30. Like legitimately, I have three slots available on the calendar today for people to book in, right? And I can change the time zone. And once I choose my, my time, I put in my name and email address and phone number again, and it's all there. And then I'm booked in to have a conversation. And once I do that, I land on the thank you page, which is the fifth and final page in the funnel. And the thank you page has a, a short video, which basically pre-frames uh, the call that they're about to have and just says, look, thank you for booking in a call with our team. There's me with ridiculous hair in the video saying, uh, please check your email for the details. And by the way, respect our time and respect our calendars. If you can't turn up, please let us know in advance and we'll make that spot available for someone else. Otherwise, we look forward to having you on the call and helping you seeing if we can help you take your agency to the next level. So that's it. They're the five pages we have. I'll just recap. We have page number one is the opt-in page. Page number two is what I call the content or the training page. Page number three is the application form. Page number four is the calendar. And page number five is the thank you page. Um, and there's one other page that I won't show you now, but there's one other page in between them booking their first call. We have a sales process which requires at least two calls. The first call is just a quick qualification call, a 15-minute chat to see if we're a good fit. And then the second call is a, is a deep dive discovery. In between those calls, we will send them 
another page which has some case studies on it and some more testimonials. That's the only page that I haven't shown you um, today. So there are the five pages. Let me know in the uh, chat if you have any questions about any of this. And these are the five pages that we are going to give you uh, pre-built in WordPress and Elementor. Of course, you could build these yourselves. There's absolutely nothing award-winning here and there's no uh, you know, rocket surgery, uh, so to speak. But we're just going to give you these pre-done and I'll give you the details on how you can get them very shortly. Any questions, Pete? Uh, yeah. Do I have to use your video? <laughs> uh, no, you use your own video is the, that's a very good question. You know, you know, that's the stupidest question I could come up with. Uh, well, so here's, here's the thing about video is video, uh, is James Murgatroyd is right. Video has a much higher conversion rate and it's because, and I know a lot of people get weird about video, right? Video is just a leveraged a way of having a sales presentation with someone, but you do it once and then you just record it yeah, and sure. then you can play it to everyone automated. So while I'm sleeping, people are watching a sales presentation, which is basically a, a teaching presentation, a short okay. 10, 12, 15 minute teaching presentation where I teach them one thing that positions me as an authority and helps them with a problem, right? It helps them with a solution. It's a, it's and, a pre recorded touch point. Correct. Exactly. Yeah. So <clears throat> I keep it pretty lean. Like I've just got a, a, a camera plugged into my computer here and, um, you know, uh, a, a USB microphone. And I, and I had some slides, I think. And it was a presentation that I did at one of our events. And I just, shortened it a bit and made it a bit shorter you want to you don't want to teach you don't want to go into too much detail when you teach in fact we have a whole training around what i call cornerstone content which i'll i'll give you details and how you can get that in a moment cornerstone content is you you really only need one piece of content right and uh <laughs> nice soft lens some wine and some music yes and just a camera look at that crispy 4k well sure it's a nice camera but you don't need you can get a logitech USB 4K camera for a hundred bucks, and you don't and need use a, that. You don't like, need a recording studio, is what he means. No, don't don't yeah. overthink it. Like you know, our our fractional CMO Tissu, his funnel is him on the iPhone, right? It's him on his iPhone and a selfie stick in his in his room in his which is his, his spare bedroom, which is his home office, right? And I went down through his funnel, very similar funnel to what we've got. Went through his funnel, watched his video content. Went, this is super interesting. Applied, got on a call hired the guy, he's now running our marketing, right? So you don't need the fancy, don't let the tech get in the way of just producing the content. And also remember the first time you produce any content like this, it's probably going to be terrible because you've never done it before. That's okay. Give yourself permission to just be terrible at it and then just do it again and get better, okay? Yep. Yep. Um, uh, the <clears throat> you don't want to teach. The other thing I want to say is you don't want to teach anything in in too great a detail because if you teach them too much, you'll one you'll either confuse them or they'll say, "Oh, Pete, that was amazing. Thank you, man. I've got all this homework to go do now. I'm going to go do all this homework, and I don't need you because you've told me what to do." The idea is you want to tell them what they need to do, show them a tiny bit of the how but kind of confuse them a little bit as well. So they go, oh, that's amazing. You're so right. That's exactly what I need to do, but I don't know how to do it. I need help. Let me give you an example. I was on a call yesterday with a Maverick and they were putting together a low ticket offer to get more people into their funnel. And we talked about, we, we came up with three things that they do really well is they make WordPress websites faster. They make them more secure and as a result of that, they improve search results because if your website's faster and more secure, Google's just going to give you preference. So we came up with this. I said, stop talking about WordPress. Stop talking about hosting. Stop talking about care plans. Yep. What you want to do is go out to the marketplace and say, we will make your website faster, more secure, and more visible on search. Who doesn't want that, right? It's $1,000 to make your website faster, more secure, and more visible on search. And then the reason it's only $1,000 is because then it's $199 a month on our care plan, right? And we look after your website moving forward. You need any changes made, you email us, we update the content, all that kind of good stuff. There's two plugins they use 
to make it faster and more secure, which in turn makes it then more visible on search, right? It takes them 45 minutes to migrate a website from an existing host to their platform, install the two plugins, and they're done. And then they've, they've just acquired a client and they're profitable on the acquisition, right? So they, in their video, they can talk about why having a faster website is important because we know that Google says, and I, what I would do is I would just bring up a Google article and I would just read it out. I'd say, check this out. This is from Google themselves saying that they say that page speed is a factor that affects search results. This is why it's super important. And if I had to teach something, I would say, look, one of the biggest reasons that websites are slow is because people put big images on their website without compressing them first. We make sure that all your websites are compressed. In fact, we do it in the background. It happens automatically. All your images are compressed, nice and small, which speeds up your websites, you know, like that. It's the low-hanging fruit. They don't know how to do that, but instantly they've gone, oh, shit, maybe our images are too big. We need to fix it, but they don't know how to do it. You've told them what to do. You've given them a tiny, tiny taste of how, but now they're confused and they have questions. That's exactly where you want them because they come to you and go, well, can you help us? Okay. Uh, so don't overthink that. Yep. Yes, Thomas, you also do get the case studies page in the templates that uh, that we give you. Um, any questions about any of this from anyone watching? Any questions about any of this? Uh, of course, for those of you who are already in Mavericks Club, uh, you already have this. You already have the high-ticket sales funnel. You already have the templates, you have the training, you have everything you need to roll this out. And if you haven't already rolled this out, then get on a call with your coach and say, hey, how do I get my high ticket sales funnel done, right? Uh, join a velocity call, we'll walk you through it um, and make sure uh, you you get this dialed in. Jaden says, did we already talk about how to get them to the funnel? That's a whole other conversation, Jaden, but I will, I can tell you, there's there's many, 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 many ways you can get people to your funnel. There's paid ads, obviously, which are very expensive and very risky unless you've got an offer that's already working organically. There's organic outreach. There's just being super helpful in other people's Facebook groups, which Jenny Lakin and, and Samantha Johnston have made a career out of doing that, right? There is uh, Tinder. I'm not joking. We have had people who have been out on dates on Tinder where the date hasn't gone so well, but they've picked up a client. There is, um, there's, now I was talking to, um, the point I'm trying to make here is that if you have, if you actually have a solution to someone's problem, and I was talking to Marguerite yesterday in Mavericks about faster, more secure, more visible. And she said, now that I know that I can, because going out to her business network with a $15,000 website, there's a huge barrier to entry. Going out with a $1,000 offer to make websites faster, more secure, and more visible, she's right. She's like, ah, oh, now I can go out to my audience and my network because I'm not trying to sell them the earth, right? I'm, I've got a low barrier to entry offer that I can get them into, pr over deliver, prove that we can, you know, do what we say we can do. And then they can ascend and eventually they'll re rebuild their website and do a rebrand and they'll become a $25,000 client. But right now they're a $1,000 client. So she's got a great network in her local area that she can go out to, get on the phone, go to networking events. Uh, yeah, of course, run ads. Um, I, I'm, I'm a big fan of only running ads to something that we know works organically. So we, you know, we test messages with our existing audience and our organic traffic before we put ads behind it. So there's a bunch of ways to get traffic. Um, the point is that once you've got a great offer of a piece of really great piece of content that you can help people with, then you will find that you get really motivated to share that content with everyone doing great joint venture partnerships as well. When I was targeting accountants, I went to the, I would go and speak at the CPA conferences and I'd have 300 accountants in a room in front of me and I'd be talking to them about whatever I was talking to them about. And usually about recruiting, usually about recruitment funnels because that's their big problem is getting good staff. And I'd come off stage and I'd have people eight or nine deep lining up to give me their business card, right? Because I knew I had something that I could offer them. I wasn't just up there talking about websites because that's boring. I, I had a specific offer for them. So this will help you get that really specific offer. And the first, I'm, I'll tell you now completely transparently, the first time you launch a high ticket sales funnel with whatever video or content you put in, it will be terrible. And it won't, it, you probably won't get a client. And that's good. That means you go back and you refine your message 
and you've got to get that message to match the market. You've got to get that right. Once you get that right, things start to take off. So give yourself permission that it might take a couple of goes to get that message right. The fastest way to validate that message, as I said to Margaret yesterday, was to get on the phone to existing clients and test it out. Hey, uh, we've noticed that your website's a bit slow and it's not secure. We can fix that for you. We can make your website faster, more secure, and more visible on search. Uh, are you interested? No, I'm not interested. Piss off. Okay, we have a problem with the message, right? Yes, I'm interested. Tell me more. Great, the message works. You don't call them up and say, I want to install a couple of plugins on your website because they're like, go away. I don't even know what a plugin is. You're annoying me. So get the message right with your existing customers first and then use the same message to people who look like your existing customers, okay? Uh, any questions? No. Chris Milton, I think it's Chris Milton said, what about in sales accelerator? So we give it to Mavericks sales accelerator does have access to high ticket sales funnel. There we go. You've got it, Chris Middleton. So you've already got it. You're in sales accelerator. So you've already got it. So let me walk you through for those of you who are not in sales accelerator or Mavericks. Uh, and for those of you who do not already have the high ticket sales funnel program, let me walk you through how you get your hands on these funnels. Three pre-built client acquisition funnels. We're going to give you these for free. I said there is a catch and there is a catch. The catch is that you need to enroll in the high ticket sales funnel program. And the reason is because the funnels that we give you uh, as much as they are pre-built and you can kind of see a little image here of the different page templates that we give you, you're going to need to put your information in the funnel. You're going to need to understand the psychology of the content that you use. And so that's why you're going to need the training on how to use these funnels to actually generate high ticket clients. Now, here's the deal. The high ticket sales funnel course is usually, what do we sell it for? $997 every day of the week on our website, right? We're giving it to you guys at half price. In fact, slightly more than 50% off. So it's 497. I think we also have a payment plan of three months of 197 a month. Uh, we also have a 365 day money back guarantee. So here's the deal. Because we are literally giving you our exact client acquisition funnel for your agency, we want to back it up to make sure you get results. So if you take this training Get the funnels that we give you for free. They're norm by the way, the funnels, the pre-built funnels are normally an upsell of $197. So full transparency, when we sell high ticket sales funnels for $497, on the back end of that, we upsell the, the, the funnel templates, the three pre-built funnels, we upsell them for $197. We're giving you them for free and we're giving you 50% off the high ticket sales funnel course, right? Which is normally $997. We're giving it to you for $497. Uh, and as I said, there's a three month payment plan. If you take this training and you apply this training and you don't get new clients and you don't get a return on investment in the next year, we'll give you a full 100% refund, no questions asked. So take the training, apply it, build it out. If you don't get a new client that pays you back at least $498 in the next year, Hit us up. We'll give you a full refund, okay? So you've got nothing to lose. Like worst case scenario is you learn a bunch of stuff. It doesn't work. We give you your money back. Best case scenario is 2022 is your best year yet because you've got an automated sales and marketing process and system built out in your business. And using our funnels, we've done most of the heavy lifting for you, okay? Quick question. Think, because, quick yeah. question because we know that people are going to be listening to this podcast for years and years to come. So yes. when does this deal expire? Well, uh, it expires in about, I think it's about 48 hours from now. So actually, by the time this podcast drops, you'll have about 24 hours from the time this podcast drops until the the doors close. We're only making this available for, I think, three or four days in total. I think it opened yesterday. It's only available for a few days. So, And the reason it's only available for a few days is because we like to work with people who take action. The people who I take want, action. I want, to give, uh, I want to give kudos to Max for that screen capture right there. <laughs> the video. It's, it's, I know it's gold, isn't it? It's my, my one of my best looks. Um, that's, the, that's the Jason look. That's right. The drunk, um, the drunk Jason. <laughs> um, we typically get our best results with with action takers, people who move fast and take action and make decisions and just get on with it, right? We don't we do not do our best work with people who procrastinate. That's why we open the doors on an offer like this for four days and go, hey, make a decision, 
take action. Let's get into it and let's get some results. Yeah. Um, and uh, so that's why we do that. So uh, agency maverick. Oh, someone's going to drop the link in the chat here. I think. Yeah. I, there we go. Agencymavericks.com slash htsf dash bundle. Agencymavericks.com slash htsf dash bundle. Uh, HTSF is high ticket sales funnel dash bundle is where you go to grab that. Uh, and then you'll get instant access. Once you go through the checkout process, you'll get emails and you'll get instant access to the high ticket sales funnel program, which is five modules and the three pre-built funnel, uh, funnels that you can import. Now in the high ticket sales funnel program, Dave Foy teaches you, Dave Foy, my, my good friend and fantastic uh, a teacher of all things tech. He walks you through exactly how to build these funnels in WordPress and Elementor, which of course you can watch and you can follow along, or you can just use the funnels that we've pre-built for you because he built those funnels for us, full transparency. And um, he teaches you how to build those funnels. So you, at least you understand how to do it, but you've got them in a zip file that you can import. And as I mentioned before, there's a bonus module in high ticket sales funnels, which shows you how to sell high ticket sales funnels to your clients as a service. And I would I be suggesting unlimited revenue. Yeah. I unlimited would be suggesting revenue. that you should be selling a high ticket sales funnel for 10 grand. That's what you should be selling your high ticket sales funnels for. If you have a client who is selling pro you know, programs or services or products for 5k plus, the reason we call it high ticket is because anything over 5k, you typically need to have a phone conversation with someone to build trust, right? You can sell a program or a product or a service for two or 3k just from the website and maybe with a training webinar. If, if it's over 5k, you need to have a conversation with them, which is why the high ticket sales funnel is so good because you have those touch points that we talked about that are programmed and automated to build trust with someone in a short space of time. So if you're selling a high ticket sales funnel to a client like that, you should be charging them 10K. They bring on two or three clients through that funnel and it's paid for itself. And the funnel is going to cost you pennies to set it up because we've done the heavy lifting for you. Once you import it into your system and you get familiar with it, which will take you a couple of hours in an afternoon, then you've got an asset there that you can go and sell to your clients for years to come. Jenny Lakenen did this course three years ago and she's still selling high ticket sales funnels for five figures and using the same templates that we gave her three years ago. Uh, so uh, that's Sean. Uh, Sean Embry is asking, uh, what kind of services to to your sales funnels do your sales funnels lead to? We are more of a design build studio, and don't offer a lot of traditional agency services. So I think, yeah. like you just said, if you're if you're selling any services that are over five six k, um, that's this is what you want to do. Right. So uh, the the challenge with selling websites and apps is that you have a client come to you via referral or whatever channel, right? You have an initial initial call with them to see if they're a good fit. You then might have another call with them. Then they ask you for a proposal, right? You go and write a proposal. You pitch them a twelve or $15,000 project and they're like, oh, holy shit, that's not going to cost that much. You're a lunatic, right? There's that sh sticker shock because you haven't built trust. This is the high ticket sales funnel, yeah, the funnel leads to a call, not the sale, right? The high ticket sales funnel is perfect if you're selling anything over 5K. Now, if you're selling a signature system or marketing retainers for two and a half, three and a half a month, perfect. If you're selling a website, if you're selling websites for three grand and you want to sell them for 10 grand, perfect. High ticket sales funnel is going to prime your prospect and position you as an authority so by the time they get on a call with you, they're already in love with you and they're already pre-framed to buy from you, which is exactly what happened to Carl yesterday on the Velocity Call for Mavericks Club. He shared that business coach had a budget of 10 to 15. They ended up closing at 28,000 because he ran it. He built this cost calculator in Google Sheets where he punches in what it's going to cost him to build the project. And he's like, holy shit, I have to charge $28,500 for this project. Otherwise, it's not profitable. That's a lot of money. He goes back to the client and says, look, I know you said your budget was 10 to 15. I think we're going to be over 20. She said, that's okay. Go and run the numbers and let me know. I've had the call. She's been through the funnel. She's seen his content. She already knows that he's the right person. He comes back with $28,400 and she signs off. For someone who said they had a budget of 10 to 15, almost double, yeah. right? 
And that's not price gouging. That's Carl running a profitable business. And right. she's getting a ton of value and she knows that she's got the right vendor. Okay. Right. Yogesh is asking, uh, I had the high ticket sales funnel when it first launched. Do we get these funnels or is there an extra fee for this? So th these funnels are available for sale also, correct? Like when you, correct. Can, we sold the high ticket sales funnel at a price back then that was then. Um, these, yep. You can buy these funnels separately now. Yeah. That's right. You they're, 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 you can, I think you'd probably need to email support. I don't know what the link is, but they're $197 usually. Yogesh, just email Mish or Charmaine at support and uh, they'll give you all the details, uh, all the details there. Um, and Jaden, that's right. The funnel leads to a call. Like th this is, just to be clear, this funnel is not designed so that people go through the funnel and then put their credit card in and start paying you $1,500 a month for a marketing retainer. The whole point of the funnel is to get someone on a call and have a conversation with them, right? Yep. Um, and by the time they get on that call, they're like, they're pre-framed to already know that you are the authority and that you can help them. Now, the the I will tell you this, the success of your high ticket sales funnel comes down to the one piece of content that you've got in the middle of that funnel. So when people opt in for a free training, it doesn't have to be a video, by the way. It can be a blog post. Yeah, it can be, right? it can be content, yeah. I would suggest a video because a video is the fastest way to build trust with someone leveraged over the internet. And the way I do it is I just look at the camera as if the camera is a really good friend of mine and I'm just trying to help them, right? And... That's how I think when I look at a camera, I'm just like, Hey man, it's like an old friend of mine who I went to school with. And I'm like, Hey dude. So if you're going to, if you want to do this, this is how I would do it. And here's blah, blah, blah. And I just teach. Right. Uh, and a video will build trust quicker than anything else, but it doesn't have to be a video. You could start with a blog post with just explaining your, your theory or your thoughts. Now that cornerstone piece of content can be tricky and guess what? There's a whole training in the high ticket sales funnel course to help you map out that cornerstone piece of content. There's a whole framework. There's a script that I use in my high ticket sales funnel and I explain why my script works and how I break it down. So you literally just go, well, I'm talking about SEO. Pick the one thing that you can help them with that is helpful but doesn't give away the farm and then just follow my framework and fill in the blanks. It literally is a fill in the blank script that you can then publish as a blog post and when you get your confidence up, you can turn it into a video or you can just share your screen and narrate the blog post. That could be your video. You don't have to have the camera. You can just kind of do a voiceover narration of the blog post, or you could just run it as a blog post for the next three years. And if it converts, never make a video. It's entirely up to you, right? Yeah. Imperfect action, man. Correct. Take imperfect and, action. And yes, the funnel like this can also be used for cold outreach. In fact, I think I having a funnel like this gives you a reason to reach out to people. Like if you think about Sheila and Mike from uh, Patient Boost who focus on dentists, right? They solve many problems for dentists. And if they're taught now, if you want to future pace this and, and, and talk about a pro tip, you could end up with three or four of these funnels. And if you're talking to a prospect who says, look, my problem is not getting the phone to ring. Our dental practice is full. The problem is most people coming in here, the lifetime value of the average patient is about 500 bucks and I need it to be 12,000. Like I just, or, you know, 7,000. I need to get more cosmetic dentistry work. I'm just sick of doing fillings and sick of doing checkups on people, right? I need to increase the lifetime value of our client. You go, great. We've definitely got something that can help you here. I'll send you a, a, a link to one of our training videos and you can check it out. Who do I send it to? Email address, blah, blah, blah. Now, you can, that can be a phone call. You could automate that into an ad. Attention dentist, if you want to increase the lifetime value of your clients, watch this. Same funnel, right? Phone call, email, outreach, whatever. Same message, same conversation, same funnel. Now, if a dentist says, well, I just need the phone to ring more. We've got this website, but no one rings. I just need the phone to ring more. You go, great. Attention dentist, if you want your website to make the phone ring, read this. Right? If you're on a phone to a dentist, you're like, okay, I can't understand your problem. I'm going to send you a link to a free training. Same funnel. You put everyone who's got that problem through the same funnel. doesn't matter where they come from. The fact that you have an entry point and you have a useful piece of content will motivate you to do the outreach because now you've got a reason to call people. It's not a cold call. It's a warm call. You're just sharing helpful content. 
which happens to be the top of your funnel. Make sense? All right. Hey, this yep. has been fun. This it has been, been super fun. fun, and it went like that, didn't it? It was like I yeah, feel like I've been here five filler minutes. Today. You, were, you were very talkative today. No filler. Well, it's lot, because – You had a lot to, uh, you had a lot to spill today, yeah? Listen, I'm telling you, the the this our funnels have generated millions of dollars for our business over the last, I don't know, however long, however many years we've been running funnels. And it, it allows us very quickly to test new ideas, run new ad campaigns. As I said, we're running ads to cold traffic at the moment. Uh, we've had seven or eight calls booked in over the last couple of days from cold traffic, right? As I said, 40% of those have come from people just booking themselves in, 60% from once we get the phone number, Dioza calls them, qualifies them, books them in. So it's a combination of inbound and outbound. I don't, do, I don't talk to people. Right, I make the video once it gets published, we drive traffic to it, it's leveraged while I'm sleeping. People are booking in calls. We wake up, we've got calls booked in the calendar. We help people, we close them into our programs, we help them, they get value, we help them, we make revenue, everyone's a winner. So, this is a leveraged, automated, leveraged sales and marketing system for your business. And it, man, like. I, we wouldn't be here without the high ticket sales funnels that we run in our business and this business wouldn't exist without it. I, this is probably why I'm so passionate about it is because I know how much this can impact your business. And I genuinely just want to help as many agency owners as we can, which is why we've made this deal available. So, so once again, for the people on podcasts, www.agencymavericks.com slash HTSF dash bundle. That's it. Uh, look forward to seeing you in the program. Thank you, Crispy Butter, for being a part of it. This has been super fun. Hello, yeah. Diana Gaffney again in yeah, San Francisco. Yeah, Love you to bits. One of my favorite humans. Can't wait to hang out again. Uh, hope everyone has a great day wherever you are, and we'll see you again next week on the Agency Hour.